This is the first of two introductory or overview training videos for Song Surgeon version 3 for Mac. The purpose of this video is to give you a brief overview or sort of lay of the land of each of the buttons or components found on the user interface. That also means that we will provide very little detail about individual functions because that's not the purpose. There are other training videos available that describe in detail each of these individual functionalities and how to use them. So with that as a backdrop, let's go ahead and get started. The very top of Song Surgeon, above the buttons, starting over here on the left, is a display of individual characteristics for the file that is open. It includes the file name, the file size, uh, some bitrate and other frequency information. And of course, over on the right-hand side, you'll see the typical minimize, maximize, and close uh, buttons. Moving back then to the left-hand side, let's look at these custom buttons found on Song Surgeon, and we begin with the open button. This allows you to select either an audio file, a video file, or a Song Surgeon project file. In addition, if you right-click, this button, it will display a list of recently opened files that you can select. These next two buttons, the Save and the Save As, are for saving your work as a Song Surgeon project file. SSP files are internal files used by Song Surgeon. These SSP files can only be opened in Song Surgeon and they store all of the settings for a particular song or file that you have applied and reapply those settings when a song or an SSP file is opened again in the future. The next button, which is the export button, creates a new audio file and saves the changes you have made on the screen permanently in this new file. So for example, if you change the key of a song by a half step and then export it, you can then take this new file that you've created on export and play it on your iPod or your MP3 player or even burn it to a CD and the audio that is played will contain the one half step key change that you made previously. The next button is a CD rip button which allows you to rip songs from a CD and place them on your computer. The next button is the edit button. This allows you to edit data found in the audio file opened on the screen. The button allows you to cut, paste, copy, delete, insert silence, change volume, and fade in and fade out. Editing is a feature found only in the Pro version and it is not found in the Standard version, so please keep that in mind. The next two buttons, Undo and Redo, are pretty self-explanatory. Song Surgeon will track and remember the last 10 changes that you've made and will allow you to either undo or redo those changes. The next button is a button that toggles between fixed and float. This button determines how the waveform data appears on the screen. In the fixed mode, the wave data is fixed and the progress indicator moves. In the float position, the data floats or moves and the progress indicator stays fixed. Let's take a quick look. So as you can see, in the float position, the wave data floats and this white progress needle stays the same. I've switched to fixed, now the wave data is fixed, it doesn't move, and the progress indicator moves. So that's the difference between those two toggle states. The next button is a marker button, which simply inserts a marker at the point of the progress indicator anytime it's clicked. So as you can see by clicking it, I've just inserted a marker. This next button opens an EQ window and it has an 8-band EQ with some presets and the ability to create additional presets. The next button is the Music Pad button. Music Pad is another feature that is found only in the Pro version and initially, as it was in the Windows release, the Music Pad functionality will not be available. We expect to be finished and have it built into the Pro version by March of 2012. The next button, which is the Sniffer button, is another feature that is found only in the Pro version. The Sniffer module allows you to detect audio or video playing in your browser and allows you to download them. It works on YouTube and thousands of other websites. 
Vocal reduction is a feature that has the ability on some files to reduce or dampen the vocals. The ability of this vocal reduction to work is highly dependent upon how an original file was mixed or mastered in the studio. So please keep in mind that it does not work on all files and in fact probably works on less than one third of the files that you're going to try it on. But when it works it's a great feature to have. The Options button allows you to modify the default folder settings for Song Surgeon by simply going in here and either editing them by typing or you can actually select these buttons over here on the right and browse and reset them. Lastly we have the Help button and within the Help button you'll find a number of important things including the Quick Start Guide which is a written documentation for Song Surgeon as well as training videos and some other things that we'll talk about in a later video. So that will conclude part one of the introduction to Song Surgeon. Part two can be found in the next video and will cover the bottom half of the user interface. In other words, we'll talk about these things down here as well as these things here over on the left-hand side. Thanks for watching.